Welcome to my survival series for No Man's Sky and we're starting this video down on my base and what I want to do in this part is spend a little bit of time away from the primary missions which we've been following in the last few parts just do a little bit of general exploration maybe do a little bit of work on my base and I also want to look into something based on a comment from Snafu to do with photo missions I've got two photo missions if I remember correctly I'm not sure if I can follow them in my system here. And what Stafford has actually said is that you are now directed to planets where you've got to take the photos. And taking photos is a bit more finicky than it was before. And I'm going to be intrigued to see whether that is uh, actually correct. Because if it does, it's going to mess up my strategy for just collecting missions and doing them as I go along. Anyway, so we're going to take a look into that. The other one that intrigues me is this exploration guide as well. It seems as though it's trying to direct me to finish all the creatures, flora and minerals on the planet. And I don't know if I'm actually going to get anything for this or whether this is just a generic guide. I, I get the feeling it's just a generic guide. That's what we're going to do. But the first thing I want to do with what is actually get in, I think I can now talk to... I don't know if it's the base computer or whether the research computer. No, it's not. It's maybe it's not the base computer. I'm sure I had uh, something that base computer archive. Base computer archive available. Let's restore additional data. Maybe, ah, I think I've got to select the mission. Yep. It's one of these missions where you've got to select it to be able to activate it. Automated archive recovery in progress. Data recovered. Uh, search. Uh, instruction database Exosu exosuit technology data extracted downloading plans personal upgrade module synthesized from data scraps additional data available something recovered search archives uh, entry follows found additional buried technology modules construction proceeding smoothly recent expedition copying data readable archive retrieval complete beginning fragment of next segment I don't know what we've got from that. We've got an underwater protection module. Is that it? And I think Safu said that you actually get the storage vaults for free. I mean, I bought this one because I was just getting a more than a little bit impatient with uh, not having enough storage. Basically, okay, so the archive won't be available for a little while. But it looks like we didn't get that much out of there. Um, let's have a look at this question. Research. See if there's anything changed in here. Buildable technology. Mm, doesn't look like it. We're still. I mean, what we need is the salvage data to start unlocking some of the options in here. We've got health station, hazard protection unit. We're okay. So I think that is enough from that point of view. We've got a teleporter where we can take, go up, back up into space. And I think I might just go out into space just out of curiosity. I think what we'll do is we'll teleport up to our local system, current system. Yeah, previous system, current system. So we'll warp up into the space station. Must admit I do like starting from a space station when I'm traveling to planets rather than taking off from the planet. And here we are. And one thing I'm, I really want to log my inventory up with this. And yeah. So yeah, use iron batteries for that, so there's no point. I'm not sure if I really want to keep this underwater protection module. I suppose it could be useful. Right, let's jump out into space. In fact, let's just select the mission. I'm just interested to see where that is going to point us to. There's a mission target in another system. Consult galaxy map. So what about the other ones? Scan from space. So what that's implying is that it's actually in this system. And this just... A 
because it burned it. Because it would help if I actually. Because it would help if I actually knew what I was looking for. In fact, that's less than useful, to be honest. It says, why is photos of a strange world scan planets? Do we have to scan the individual planet? It's an arid planet. That's the pillared planet. That's the frost crystals. We've got an undiscovered planet there. That's a humid planet. of a strange world. What does a strange world actually mean? Is that a strange world? Doesn't make sense. I think what we will do um, is just I've got a mission to go here. So let's what is this? Oops. <laughs> oh done it. Didn't mean to dwarf it. I meant to look at the system. Oh well, we're off to another system. I think this would be a good test anyway, just to see if the planet is actually marked or whether we've got to go looking for it. We've got some freighters here. Target planet located. Yeah, but where is it? Well, we'll uh, do a quick dive into the space station first. Because if we come to a new space station, we might as well buy an inventory extension. This isn't exactly the direction I was planning on going, but that is the nature of No Man's Sky. You set out to do one thing and end up doing something totally different. Come up here. this. 10,000. I want to expand the technology. My instinct is to get a bit more space in this. That's going to cost me 100,000, but I've got 1.9 million, so actually, I think we'll go for the upgrade in the general area first. Of course, the next thing I want to do is that's the dinky little multi-tool not bad though actually uh, let's do a compare there's 13 slots over um, 7 slots it's got a uh, um, cost me 930,000 I mean, we've got a mining beam a scanner bolt caster I'm not sure I need a, the mass accelerator, although that's probably an enhancement for something. Meaning, and it's a B class, so it's going to give me a little bit more. Well, once it's upgraded, it will give me a, some more scanner range. The trouble is, though, it would be. Uh, I don't think I'm, I'm going to decline that for the moment. I, I think I'd rather a slightly bigger just step up than that. Mm. Famous last words. Just gonna go in here and have a look round. Hello, guys. You out wherever you are. I, I demand a place on your throne world. Interloper acceptance will grant you the glory of an exocraft in Pekin, Mexico. Yeah, unfortunately, that you only have an exo. I only. Yeah, um, I've got nowhere to put you at the moment. I, I don't even have much of a base. Talk to this guy. See. Okay. Also, vision ends. The yeah, overseer we'll terms promises. So, you're a construction guy. I've got nothing to build yet. I haven't actually been directed to do that yet. Or is, is it just something that I can do on my own now? Nothing here. Yeah. Don't really want to buy anything. So what we'll do is go back over the other side and see, check the missions. Got 
got to keep remembering I can't run around everywhere because uh, I, I don't have the upgrades for efficiency at the moment. I'll talk to these guys to learn a little bit of language. Okay, request dialect help. Trade symbol. This is a word of their language. So we've got the get word for give. Another one. I must admit, I do like the colours now on their bodies. This, this, the colours seem to be deeper and a lot more defined than that they were before the Origins update came out. Uh, just keep talking to these guys just to get some more language. Cool. I'm mind talking to the Corvacs behind as well. I think there's a limit to how many of these you can do in a single place. Travel symbol. Get word for five. And we'll talk to the chemist entity here. Recognize dies, request dialect help. Uh, mystery symbol. We got the Corvax word for is. Is that really a mystery? Kind of half inclined to get some charts, but I'm not sure what type of charts I would want. Change mm. one. Oops. Oh, you can actually sell items to them. Um, purchase. Oh. <laughs> okay, we've got one. So we might be able to find another crash ship with that. That is uh, a little bit of a disaster one. Uh, talk to the mission agents see if we can get a, a mission that will get us going in the right direction. Don't want to kill creatures. Don't really want to deliver an item because that would probably take us to another system where kill some sentinels. We always end up killing. Oh, insufficient standing. Man. If we find an abandoned building and we kill the monstrosities to get to the uh, the larval cores, that, those missions will kick in automatically. And let's have a look, see in this system, and see what's going on. My ship looks tiny against these uh, ballers, isn't it? Oh, got okay, any milestone? Thank you, game. What have we got now? So we're now interpreter. We've learnt thirty words. Have a look at this ball. Look at that 4.5 million. In my dreams, in my dreams. Oh, we're just going to get a fine brick. Now, which one of these missions is the one that is the same here? Is it the strange world or is it the other one? Picture of a radioactive world. That's an abandoned world. So we're here, but it's not exactly telling me which one is the planet we've got to go to. It only takes us to a system. It's interesting. That's a it's not a radioactive world. Yeah, it's just what we go over there. Number It's got salvageable scrap on. Uh, unknown planet. Quagmire planet? What on earth is a quagmire planet? Oh, we've got to go here and find this. Check this out. A minute and 12 seconds to get there. Got absolutely no idea what a quagmire planet would be. Right, we've got hostiles coming in, so we're going to get bounced and we're going to have to defend ourselves. Yes, thank you, game. We'll just keep making progress towards the planet until we get knocked out of space. Yep. 
We're after my activated Indian. Where are you? And he's out of range because he was came into space looking for me and I'd already gone. <laughs> Magnetized ferrite. Pass that out of the way. Oops. Come on, flying brick. Give me some maneuverability. Some silver. That's weird because that came up saying they were after. Okay, okay we've got some here rocks. Well, so what I've got to do now is find the planet we were heading for. That's the sub zero planet. Where is this, this is the one? This is the Quagmire planet. We'll just pick up a little bit of tritium. Yeah. We'll just gonna. Probably enough, let's get going. So here we are, we are coming down on the surface of a quagmire planet. There's certainly a lot of mountains around here. It's gonna be prove interesting. Wow. <laughs> There's water here. You can find a landing spot, I presume, amongst all this lot. Right, scan. the mountains a bit of canyon flying I don't do much of as much as I used to is there any flat terrain around here that I can land on well also I high, too high to initiate landing here we are the knowledge stone here We've got weather, tropical winds, sentinels, attentive. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, this is quite a, an intriguing planet. Some flying creatures up there. We're going to go after those. Planetary chart contains directions to a point of interest. Oh, oh, oh. Flashed up and flashed off again. We got round here. Got a copper deposit over there. Copper. Oh, we got a lot of copper here. I certainly wouldn't mind picking up some of that. Check the fuel, the fuel situation. We've got thrusters. Yep. This is all a bit full anyway. We're not going to be able to pick up that much. So we're going to go looking for. I think if we go in that direction, there's some. Paraffin in behind there, so we'll put a deposit on the other side of there. So we're just going to not much we can scan it, or we can plant here that we can scan. Let's a... go off in this direction. The lash plant. Well, scan that. That will take you to the oxygen. Up. A little bit of sodium there. Do I need sodium? We got space for sodium as long as I don't pick up too much. Uh, 
Uh, pick up. Probably getting fairly close. I've gone over the top now. Turn you into sodium nitrate. Uh, I'm taking the extra suit. Pick up the. And we'll just keep turning you into something unsavory. Oh, I thought I had. Bit of a mistake there, but that can go in the right track. I was looking at. Oh, yeah, that's going this way, isn't it? And the plants. Okay, we've got another journey milestone. We are now a magnet. We've got over two million. And so we are attracting money. We'll just get up over here. Take the knowledge stone. Oops. Yep, we'll be okay. Where did that copy go? Slide down the side of the mountain again. You and you, more cash. 18,000. up this copper so we can turn it into chromatic metal if I keep a nice steady supply of this coming in I might be able to repair my other ship because this, that, that ship has got quite a high requirement for chromatic metal and various other resources as well but something up there that I haven't got can you? 148,000 for that. A nice little learner. We've got 2 out of 12 features. Anything else around here? I've buried cash there, so we'll tag the buried cash. And this paraphernalia over that way. I mean, the buried cash is pretty close anyway, so we'll go and grab that. We'll kind of walk crabwise along the side of this hill. And like this. You get got mineral records extraction, fennite. Gross data into nanites. But we can give this away, I'm pretty sure we can. But how many nanites do we get from this then? That's not bad, 100 nanites from that. I'm very tempted to fire this off. Let's see what we can find. Distress signal detected. In this planet. Oh, right, where's that? Ten hours. Okay, I'm gonna have to make my way back to the ship. Uh, I don't really fancy trying to summon it, summon it on the side of a hill. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my way back to the ship, and then we'll fly to that distress beacon and see what we can find. Right, I've just slid down the side of this mountain, and I found some damaged machinery. So we're Give this the once over. We need to get some more residual poop and turn into nanites. And we got some more nanites as well. 
There's an oops, got another milestone. What have we got this time? I'm a wanderer, and I think we're getting pretty close to maxing out that stat there. Let's have a look, milestones. Yeah, well, in fact, we've actually ma maxed out the money one. Uh, personally, I, I think Hello Games need to extend this a bit more to make it a bit more of a challenge. I mean, two million isn't exactly uh, a big challenge for this game. I mean, it, this should be like 25, 30 or even 50 million. And, and even the walking one is, uh, I mean, we've walked 50k and the next one's 75k. I think they could probably increase these a little bit just to make them a bit more of a challenge. Then again, they're not really uh, something that you need to plan to do, you're just going to play the game. There seems to be something on top of the hill there as well. Got the get word for of. Oh, that's just the sweet route. Don't really want to collect them just at the moment. Back to the ship. Oops, hello. I got you. No, I haven't. Okay, we'll just scan you. A bit more cash. Uh, I've got a bait details recorded. Um, there we go. Oh, that was a bit of a slow takeoff. Put my ship upside down. It's going to take about half an hour to get there, so we're going to go up into space and use the pulse engine. So here we are, we're coming down on what looks to be a shuttle. So we're just going to grab that. We've actually got a flat area to land as well. Oh, I really need a Atlas V1 pass as well. Um, this destination route. I could get some copper and I can make a microprocessor. We can get ourselves an Atlas V1 pass. That would be quite useful. What have we got here? Let's jump in and see what we've got. Okay, this actually belongs to somebody who stood around here and I didn't see him. Where are you? Oh, he wants to get the damaged machinery. Got another underwater protection module. Hello. Who are you? I wanted your ship. It's a shame you can't shoot them and steal their ship. Gek appears to have been stranded, their starship smoking and landlocked. They shrug wide-eyed and innocent, indicating the faulty navigation gimbal that drove them into the dirt, offer assistance. The something looks pleased, their eyes shift pointedly to me and the crash. Okay. Is that it? I get a mission? You didn't give me anything. A cursory glance of the ship's battered components is revealing. This ship has been poorly maintained, the various subsystems simply worn out. And at some point, some parts look more uh, look more than a decade old. Let's perform a deeper repair. If I, if I do prepare, patch up critical, if I do a deeper repair, will I get more for it? Uh, I could probably build a microprocessor can I? Yeah I mean build a microprocessor and put that into the ship. Let's see. Okay, perform a deeper repair. Any repairs to the starship won't last long without addressing the blown out navigation circuitry. 
I fit an expensive new microprocessor and patch up the surrounding components. Okay. Where have you gone? Hey, hey, I want my reward. Oh, there it is. He looks a little, looks a little bit sad just sat on the bench like that, doesn't he? <laughs> I tried to press the importance of good starship upkeep, but it seems they cannot and will not understand me. They seem to appreciate my thorough repairs and they fish around for something to offer me in trade and beam when I find some something suitable. What are you gonna give me? We've got some unstable plans for here. Right, um, if I can find some more copper. Is it I need for I need for the Atlas V1 part. You have a hundred and odd copper. Yeah, I think. Uh, think that. Dihydrogen jelly. Think that. Think that. We found. Right, we're filling our ship up with junk. <laughs> Good chunk. Can't really afford to do. Get rid of the cactus flash, that's a waste of time. Got oxygen. What we got in here? We can turn this into tritium. Ah, uh, yep. So that can. Let's we'll send this. The starship. Right. And what we need is copper. Oh, look at that. See the rainbow? That's cool. Right, we're looking for copper. Of course, there's bound to be no copper around here. Sodium deposit, knowledge stone, paraffinium, buried cash. I can't pick up any more of that. Of course, there's no copper around here. <laughs> right, I think what we're going to do is we're going to pick up a marker that way. Off in this direction. And just come in here. Just noticed my starship doesn't have any rust to fuel in, so I wouldn't have been able to summon it. Alright. We've got back there, so that's a duplication. And we've got a little bit more space in here. So we're just going to go off in some direction. I thought I'd tag the knowledge stone. There it is. And we're just going to look in for copper. I think I'd be really good to build the Atlas V1 pass. And of course what happens is is once you get a V2 pass you can replace the V1 with V2 and V3 so you don't need all three installed in your inventory at one time. So just get into here. This is a really steamy planet isn't it? Stand away. Wouldn't mind. Yep. A bit more oxygen. Yeah, okay. <laughs> And I'm, I know you're there. Go away. I'm busy. Paraffinium. Sodium. Ah, come on, game. There's a knowledge stone just there. We can go and get that. I think we'll pick up a... I have this vision and I'm going to suddenly slide down into that water. Let me just grab that. Get word for happy. No creatures in the water. We've got some very technology down there. We might as well go in that direction. Okay, that I thought. Uh, 
Uh, although I must admit, I'm not really a big fan of playing in this mode in No Man's Sky. Uh, I mean, normally I am quite a uh, big fan of third person in some games, but I don't know. In No Man's Sky, it just doesn't seem to be right to do it. Plus, there are a, little, a few issues related to controls. Ah, I think getting this buried technology could be interesting. Uh, yeah, oh, we got... There as well, hazardous plant, it would be good for... Yeah, I must actually have all oh, that. Never ever had two side by side like that before. I had two like within five or ten meters of each other, but first time I've had two where you can dig out two at the same time. Uh, let's just get up here. And Got health restore there. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I've got no idea what the level of my health is, so maybe we'll just go and with a little bit of a tickle. Oops, it's not good. Health restored. So, the fact it's health restored and not saying health maximum, it means that I do have a problem with my health at the moment. So we've got another iron battery that could be useful. No, we've got a knowledge stone down there and a copper deposit. That's, that's the direction we're going. Through the trees. Mm. I must admit, I do like the grass and the fact that it's animated now and not just static lumps. Right, let's have a quick look at the situation. Sodium nitrate. Put some more oxygen into that. And we're going to be playing at being a fly again. I don't think this side is going to be quite so forgiving. No. <laughs> Have to be a bit quick. Just grabbing the. Right, where is the. There's the copper deposit on the other side of this ridge. So we're going to need to get up it. I think somebody posted a comment about. But you don't get the eternal jetpack up the side of mountains anymore. And I must admit, I've noticed that as well. It isn't, it doesn't seem to be as easy as it used to be. Uh, yeah, we're going to go right up on the top of that. Wow. This. Awesome. And I think we can't scan those. Scan those. Actually, this is a copper deposit there, 39 meters away. I might not have to go up over the top of the mountain. And we'll just take out the copper. Sorry, I've got to go back to first person for this. Um, oops. Sorry, I've got to go back to first person for this. It seems, doesn't seem right to be mining in third person. Oops. Sometimes, luckily, the sentinels don't get upset very quick. Sometimes, oops, depleted. See how much copper we got now. 250 plus more change, so we'll be able to do now. And in here, what we need is a microprocessor now. And ha, we need chromatic metal. Thank you again. That shouldn't be a problem because if we bring that back in there, we've got 144 copper, so we've got and that into. Right. 
and we need some carbon for some nanotubes. And uh, oops. We'll just knock down a couple of trees. Do I need the thesium? Uh, we should have enough to make a nanotube now. I'll have a look at something. Yeah, we got some dense carbon, so I'm just going to get rid of you. I don't think I really need you. While the personal refiner is running, we'll just do a little bit more exploring. This is an unknown building in that direction. I was going to be getting to it, isn't it? We could always do our first little bit of swimming. Problem could be getting out the water the other side. And we're just going to swim across the water. That down there is candle cap. So down here we've got candle kelp, which can be used, but to be honest, I don't really want to. Is that we just swim on the surface for the moment? Get to the island. Wow, how the heck are we going to get up the side of that? Seeing any aquatic creatures though? Most of all, fifty percent. Looks like there's some actual clams there. A couple of armored clams there. We could go and try and get some pearls, but I'm so full up. Just have a look. Yeah, we've got that there. I'll put that back in there. Give me a bit of space. Ah. I'll throw something away. you making you're making that and what I'll do is I'll just carry on traveling for the moment while that's turned in and I can take that out and we can make something else out there well that's the clams what we're gonna do is make our way towards the unknown building we'll just get across the water And hopefully we'll be able to get up this slope. Oh, wow. Have to jetpack up the slope. Loves 35%. Pick up the oxygen, I think. What have we got here? Oh, well, we found uh, it's either a plaque or a monolith. I think it's a plaque, isn't it? I prefer. Yeah, it's a gate plaque. As I touch the obelisk, images of the planet's ancient past flood to my mind. A terrible beginning of the Gek has been absorbed by this strange stone, and their tail seems desperate to escape. All who hear our words know our might. Those who oppose us are broken up to our will. Hold the power of the Gek firstborn. Galaxies lie at our feet. We are eternal. Uh, we're just going to seek knowledge of the language. So we've now got the Gek work with this. And we've got another knowledge stone up over there. And the personal constructor is finished. Didn't need to do that. Top, top, top. Okay. Um. Set. <laughs> yeah. Um. 
right, what I should be able to do now is um, the rusted metal into ferrite dust. So we're just going to do that. And that now gives me a little bit of space to build the microprocessor. Um, I think Snafu asked me where this activated Indian came from. I think I think it's left over from when I scrapped that uh, ship in the last part. Okay, we're now going to create the exit to pass. So we've now got this going there. We've got that there. I really need to scrap this underwater protection module. It's in the way, and um, we can probably sell the unstable plasma as well. I don't really need it. And we can turn this in. Really need to go back to my base and refine that. And how far away my ship is? It's 800 odd meters across rough terrain. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to summon in my ship. creatures down there. Have I got you? Yep. Step out the way. My ship's coming in. And jump the flying brick. We need to just drop the same. And I've just noticed the time. So this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And what I will do off camera is go back up into the space station and sell off some of this stuff, which I don't need. I could maybe get rid of that here, Rox, or I could... Um, refine it down into something else and of course we need to clear out our inventory but this is where i'm gonna leave it hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming <laughs>